Welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to align the mirrors on the Vertical Laser XL. The Vertical Laser XL is a 4x8 vertically oriented laser engraver and cutting machine. These tasks are potentially dangerous and proper caution should be exercised. Use appropriate safety equipment. Always have a fire extinguisher nearby no matter what laser engraver or cutting machine you are using. If you decide to follow these instructions, please do so at your own risk. If you don't feel comfortable doing these tasks, please seek a professional. The tasks involved in aligning the vertical XL is aligning three mirrors, one that is reflecting the laser energy from the main laser tube. Since the laser tube is riding on the gantry, you only have to align the laser on one main axis. Since two of the mirrors are actually static and will not move in relation to the laser tube. The third is on the nozzle and that's the one that moves. On a traditional laser cutter and engraver, you actually have two mirrors that actually move because the gantry has to move away from the main laser tube, which causes you to have to align in two different axes, which is far more complicated. In these tasks, you'll find that the laser aligning is actually quite straightforward. We'll start with the first mirror that is reflecting the laser energy from directly from the, the laser tube. You can use these techniques with traditional laser cutters where the, the laser tube is mounted statically. Just remember you'll have to do this for two axes and when you get to the final axis make sure that the first mirrors, the mirror that is reflecting the laser energy to the mirror that is on the gantry that is moving, make sure that alignment is very well aligned so that there will be minimal diversion when aligning the final mirror on the nozzle that goes back and forth on the gantry. This is the vertical laser and the parts we're going to be working on specifically is where the tube aligns with this mirror here and then it bounces off to this mirror here and then it bounces into this mirror that's going into the nozzle and it's bouncing the mirror is angled so it bounces back towards the nozzle and then out of the nozzle aperture before we test it obviously we need to turn on the, the motion and laser controllers turn on the motors and the drivers so the, the machine can actually move and then we're going to turn on the laser controller which is this portion and the main controller in the back of this so when we turn it on, the gantry and the, the nozzle is going to try to find its home position. I'm going to move the gantry and the nozzle in a position that it'll be easy for me to work. So I'm going to use this to, to have the gantry go back and forth this way. And then up and down will be the nozzle moving up and down on the gantry. So I'm going to press the right button. And this looks like a convenient place for me to, to do it. We'll start the alignment from the tube to the first mirror. And what we want to know is where the laser is hitting the first mirror. You have an adjustment on the bottom here which we use a, a hex bolt so you can easily um, undo it and redo it and you can move it around. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of tape on the face of this and we're going to pulse the laser very quickly just to see where that dot hits in this area. We want the dot to hit as close to the center of this mirror as possible. Before we test the laser to the mirror, we actually don't want the mirror to be in here because it can reflect to some other location unpredictably when it gets through the masking tape. So it would be safer to actually take the mirror out. So I'm going to do that first. And when you're taking the mirror out, it's not going to affect the, the angle of this. It's just a safety precaution to make sure that we're not getting some weird bounce, weird reflection from the mirror. Okay, so we're going to take this out. There's a, a nut that keeps the mirror in place. We want to put the mirror on something that's not going to scratch it. I'm going to use my lens cleaner here. And I'm going to fold it so it's you no know, dust gets on it. So I'm just going to, I don't even need to put the set screw back in. 
because we're not holding anything in here. We could try to put a, like a coin or something in there, or maybe even a, something that won't absorb laser energy. Let's see if the beam can pass through any part of this. No. So when you put this back, the beam actually can't pass all the way through. Actually, it, there is a little area there that can, it can pass through. So we might want to put something underneath it so it doesn't burn anything below. I'm going to use a just a regular piece of paving stone. This is non-reflective surface and the laser really doesn't cut through this. So I'm going to use this as a way to minimize any reflections if the beam does get through this opening here and past it. So I'm just going to put this below it for safety. So I'm going to put this in between two of the, the ribs from here to here and I'm going to move the gantry so this alignment will go pretty much in the middle of that stone. Okay, so I have a position just below it. You can see that there's a, an angle to this, so I might want to do this actually, yeah. Now I'm going to apply masking tape to the, the mirror mount. And what I like to do is I like to put my finger around that hole. I can see the edge of where the beam is going to hit. So let's go ahead and make our first attempt. We're going to pulse the laser, see where the laser hits the masking tape. More closing. Okay, before we turn it on, you want to make sure that you have the water going through the laser tube. You want to make sure that the laser power supply is plugged in and on, it has power. Now we're going to press the, the laser button to turn the laser on to do a test. So I fired the laser, I just pressed it just for a split second. The faster you press this laser, or the longer you press the laser, the longer the laser light is going to be on. So you just want to tap it. And if you don't see a mark on the masking tape, tap it again a little tiny bit longer, just to make sure that you have a mark on the, the masking tape. You can see that the laser pretty much marked at the center of the masking tape. If it didn't, if it marked on the, the left or the right, then you'll need to undo the screw here and then move the, the mirror left or right. All right, now I'm gonna reinsert the mirror. Now that we have a, a good marking, it's within this hole. So the silver side should be facing you when you put it in, and this, the gold side should be facing this side here. Okay, so I'm going to take it, look at which side I have. This is the silver side, so I'm just going to drop it in here. This is a 25 millimeter mirror. Okay. Now I'm going to put in the set screw. Make sure the set screw or the set nut has these grooves on the facing you, so you can tighten it with a, a tool. You can also put an o-ring in here between the, the mirror and the, the nut to get a better hold between the, the nut and the, and the mirror. Now you're going to want to make sure that the angles of these mirror mounts and the mirrors are going to be generally in the right location. And the way I do this is I actually take a phone your cell phone um, camera and you can view the actual nozzle of the you should be able to see this nozzle in the phone where you're looking through both of the mirrors and I can see this mirror is the first level and then the other mirror you can see in the in the distance there and I can definitely see the nozzle of the laser and anywhere in this mirror, the nozzle should be viewable. And when I go right to the center of the mirror, you can see the nozzle of the laser tube is generally in the center. That way you know that when it does bounce off this mirror here, 
and it goes towards this mirror, you know it's going to go into the general location. So we're going to remove this mirror and we're going to put some masking tape around this entire area. So let's go ahead and test where it's going to hit on this location here on this mirror mount. We're going to take the mirror out again and you can see that we installed something that will help us reduce any of the laser energy hitting anything farther in that direction on that, on that side. We're going to take this mirror out. Make sure you keep holding onto it so it doesn't drop. So we're going to undo the set nut again, the locking nut, if I can do that. Yeah. These should regularly be cleaned. You can tell mine is actually kind of dirty. And when the laser energy hits it, it will fuse material onto that lens over time. We're going to take some um, isopropyl alcohol. We're going to put a little bit on a Q-tip, take the mirror, and then we're going to gently rub the mirror with the alcohol. You can see that it is actually taking it off. I'm going to take my lens towel and just wipe it.